What it do, what it do, back again coming through, who that is, that ain't nobody but Sumi Sue about to do the do. Okay. Yes. Listen, so I'm not going to bore you or anything like that. We're going to jump right into it. Today's unit is sponsored by Wise Wigs. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video of me styling and getting her prepared. They sent me a, I want to, what do you call this? Like an auburn color. It's a straight wig. I washed it. I did all of that good stuff. I always wash my units, you guys. I find that when you get them from the factory and stuff like that, if you wash them and let them dry, they tend to hold styles a lot better and y'all know me I'm not gonna do a lot of plucking I'm not gonna do a lot of anything I like to finesse them just the way they are I like to get it done and move on now the reason for this voiceover while you watch me go ahead and style this hair is that there's a little bit of a construction going on a little bit of a construction a little bit of construction going on around in my area and they're really really noisy so I filmed in the daytime and here I am at night voicing over so you guys are gonna have to bear with me uh, I will definitely continue to talk to you guys but I think a lot of my videos are gonna be some voiceover styles because there's a lot of noise right now especially in the daytime so if I do get a break like if it's a rainy day or anything like that I can definitely come in and talk to you guys because they won't be working anyways despite me being on the top floor it is super duper duper noisy and I don't I was like no I can't do it but I need to work I need to get these videos out so here we are voicing over okay and uh yeah I find these videos to be very fun as well because it's a challenge for me to keep up with these videos I'm not scripting anything some people script and make videos really really nice and all of that mm -mm. over here you're gonna get imperfection fumbles and stumbles I'm gonna freestyle okay I'm gonna talk to what I see okay that is me anyways using my t3 curling iron a very good investment these curling irons are super expensive but they really are the bomb okay and I'm using the smallest barrel that came with the set I got the the interchangeable three head one yeah and I'm just curling and doing all of that good stuff like I said I've been trying to practice those vintage style curls getting better but still not quite there Anyways, I'm wrapping around, doing all of that, curling away from my face, and then I'm going to go ahead and just like, you know, pull them out, stretch them out, and spray them down, and then we're going to actually set it aside and do our makeup and all of that good stuff, and uh, yeah, here I'm cutting the lace, all of that good stuff. Y'all see it? Okay, yes, and um, shout outs to Wise Wigs for sponsoring this video. Y'all already know if it ain't good here, it'll make it on here. Okay, so yeah, here I am doing the do. Whoopty whoop, she'd be boop, boop, boop. And this brand of hairspray that I'm using is actually the same brand as the Gots to Be that swatched whatever. I don't know, I can't pronounce the name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And this is a light hole spray. I was actually fortunate to find this over here, so I was like, okay, I'm scooping this up. Anyways, look at this hair. Look how pretty. Look at the curls. Like, tell me I ain't did the do. Now, by the time. I'm ready to style her and do all of that good stuff. They did kind of flop out a little bit and that's due to the heat over here. Even though I have the AC on, it is super cold in this room, but I did find that the curls did flop, so um, yeah. Anyways, this is the hair, so um, make sure you check them out. All the information for this will be down in the description box. And without further ado, let's get into this face, honey. So somebody said, let's get close because we finna do the most and honey, I am running with that, okay? She was like, you need to change it up you know what I'm saying like I got one for you you always say zoom in so we can get within she said let's get close because we finna do the most and homegirl was right because we do the most over here we do not play we do not delay okay we come into slay all damn day right here I'm using the Anastasia brow products I'm using the brow wiz and the brow definer I think that's what it's called both colors are in chocolate and yeah I'm back to using pencil pencils pencils <laughs> I'm back to using pencils because it's just a lot more softer and I find that, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's just it's just the do, but I do love pomades as well because I do love me a strong brow from time to time. Anyways, I figured I would show you guys this because here we are doing a voiceover and these styles kind of, this style of filming basically, you know, 
it allows me to show you a lot more because I'm not really talking in the video like talking in videos you can get carried away and y'all know me just be getting carried away and straying and doing all sorts of stuff girl we need to get it together okay next up I'm going in with the Too Faced products and back to using Too Faced I really do love their stuff and still I am using just the concealers all over my face anyways right here I am taking warm sand and I'm gonna sculpt and I'm gonna apply this all over my eye as a base and yeah like I do love a good eye base but honey I'm all about whipping out less product like it's a product for this a product for that I like to use one product to multitask that is what I like to do okay so whoop de whoop shibbity boop 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 so now that we have everything blended and looking splendid I'm gonna be going in with the rebel honey palette from Juvia's place today I decided to use this quad because I was like you know what because I'm gonna be wearing this auburn color here let's just do something really soft and pretty or in the same color scheme basically that's what we're gonna be doing so first I'm going in with the rusty shade you already know transition and we're gonna get that really nice in the crease and then I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade at the top and I'm gonna use this to blend everything out then I'm gonna go back with the darkest shade and deepen up my crease and my outer V just a tad bit mostly my outer V to be honest with you okay also to help me with blending you guys know I love me some Huda Beauty and I tend to like to use a loose powder to help blend because basically it gives you a lot more slip a lot more glide and it really does help to soften up those edges so don't skip out on this little secret right here y'all if y'all want your eyeshadow edges to be looking flawless and all of that get you some loose powder something that's going to set your brows and diffuse that area at the same time okay also, shameless plug, <laughs> don't forget to use my code SILVER if you head on over to Juvia's Place and copy these palettes, which I do suggest you do. Yeah, use my code, save some money, okay? Buy one for a friend, buy one for your mother. Especially if you're just getting into makeup, I think that this particular palette would be a great buy if you don't know what you're doing because there's only four eyeshadows in there. You can't really mess this up and you can get several really natural neutral type of looks with this palette also it's going to be a great palette for autumn because the colors just scream fall they scream autumn you know what i'm saying but hey you can wear these colors at any time it's still summer and i'm wearing it in summer okay really really pretty palette definitely go ahead and get it okay okay nyx glitter glue fitna do the do I'm gonna give credit where credit is due, honey. I learned this trick from Makeup by Tammy. She always uses glitter glue and her eyeshadows are so phenomenal. Like her looks are just really easy breezy. Well, not really easy breezy, but for somebody like me, I absolutely love her makeup. Anyways, this is gonna grip that metallic shade. It's gonna give it a lot more shine. It's gonna make it more intense. It's just really a great product for shimmer and glittery shades. So definitely go ahead and put that in your arsenal. I'm wiping up under my eyes. I never show you this, but because we're doing a voiceover, I do have a lot more freedom to show you more things compared to whenever I do my regular sit down videos. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, the lashes are by Flutter Lashes and these are intoxicating, super pretty, absolutely love these lashes and the pair that I'm wearing are the Double Lift Series, okay? So, now that I have these on and all of that good stuff, honey, let's get into this face, okay? You see how long it takes me to put on a lash? Like, I'm really showing you that it takes time, makeup takes time and I hope that you appreciate these videos that we YouTubers are doing for you. <laughs> Anyways, let's zoom out because we finna show out. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's get into this face. Listen, y'all hear this wind? Man, that escalated quickly. It was raining a little bit, but now there is a full on typhoon in the area. So you guys are going to hear some serious wind during this voiceover. Okay, so bear with me. All right. So I moisturized my face. I did all of that good stuff. Now I am going to go in with my MAC paint pot. I simply use this to help defeat creasing around my mouth as well as color correct. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. Does it work? Yes, it does. If it didn't, I wouldn't keep doing it. But there is a catch to this thing working. It does not work with dewy foundations. Dewy foundations tend to have a little bit more of an oilier effect 
effect. It's not long lasting. So this product works best with long lasting or long wearing products. So if a product says 24 hours, stuff like that. Now mind you, of course these products do not last for 24 hours, okay? But if it has that stamp on it, it has a little bit more of a longer wearing time. So these are the best type of products to have on your face, especially if you're oily like me, and to work with this product, okay? These two work hand in hand. I can go 16 hours straight and my, my smile lines will stay intact, okay? It doesn't separate, it looks flawless, okay? So yeah, that's the catch when, when working with this particular product. And you kinda wanna soak up your moisturizer underneath there before you put this down. Do not think that you can put this product on top of all of your skincare, okay, all of that oil and elixirs and serums, it's gonna break down the product and it's not gonna work. Make sense? Okay, all right. Anyway, boo, what am I doing? Oh, child, I'm getting left behind. So I highlighted, I contoured, I put on my, 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 face concealer I'm using nothing but concealers everything is by Too Faced I use toffee warm sand and sand and for my contour I use the Huda Beauty foundation stick and I think coffee bean <laughs> I am not 100% sure anyways I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of this out I do I am gonna speed up this section okay because the weather is taking a turn for the worse and this wind is getting fierce and I do still want this video to have you know some 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 youtuber quality okay some professional youtuber type quality okay <laughs> y'all I mean how you gonna be listening to me and there's a storm outside child i am not here to traumatize people okay anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do all of that and then we're gonna come on back and powder this face okay okay time to set everything in place you guys know how it is i'm gonna be using the hunufa setting powder in kunufa absolutely love this powder and then i'm gonna go in with cinnamon bun and we are going to tackle the rest of this face somebody asked me for a really great setting powder for oily skin listen as long as it doesn't have any luminescent particles in it it's good to go okay so try it all right here we are contouring in this nose honey chisel dizzle y'all already know how it goes do you hear this wind outside it is getting scary time to bronzify to catch poppy's eye all right we not gonna dilly we not gonna dally okay bronze up that face bring some life back right here i am taking my maybelline set what last sensational primer I, I can never say that okay it's just a primer for your lashes i love to use it on my lower lashes really helps to thicken them up and my favorite mascara right now well not right now i've loved this mascara for a very long time it's the big shot mascara it just really helps to coat my lashes girl you see me laughing child I was listening to Sinbad Sinbad is bae I have listened to his comedy skit for so, like so many times and I absolutely love his stuff like nobody does it better you see what I'm saying he can get up there not curse one single bad word and make you laugh like I mean he touches you you know what I'm saying anyways y'all know this palette all right um we gonna go ahead and do this little blush thing. All right, y'all, look at me trying to be all perfect, girl. If you don't move on and stop playing with me. Uh, right here, I'm taking my powder brushes. I always go over my blush with my powder brushes just to soften it up, blend it out, okay? Nothing on the brush, just whatever is left from when I was applying my powder on my faces. So I just basically use that and just kind of tap back over. You see what I'm saying? The tricks of the trades to blending everything and making everything look nice and seamless and flawless and all of that good stuff. Here we are taking this highlighter and and we're going to just, you know, tap that nose and that Cupid spell. And girl, my hand must have got away from me today because I noticed I went on my forehead. Sinbad had me in a trip, honey. I was not concentrating. I was like, what? Why are you putting this on your forehead? Look at me. Child. Let's get into this hair. Gonna speed up this whole entire section. Gonna play some music over top. You hear this wind out here? I am getting scared, okay? Listen, whenever I apply my wigs after I do my makeup, I always go in and wipe off a little bit off of my forehead because that's where I'm going to be sticking this thing down. And I always get asked, what is that that you're using to stick this down? It's called Bold Hold Liquid Gold. This comes off with water. I absolutely love it. It gives a really nice grip. It wears pretty well as long as you're not sweating. As long as you stay cool and stuff like that, it wears really, really, really well. You see what I'm saying? Like, I absolutely love this product. And I just get in the shower and when I'm washing my face and all of that good stuff, 
it comes right off it melts right off and it keeps your edges safe as you can tell my edges are still there you see what I'm saying and furthermore I kind of I stick this down on my skin is where you should be sticking it down you should not be sticking this down on your actual edges okay but if you do get it in your edges no worries because it comes off it comes off with water like you just need water okay no heavy chemicals none of that good stuff okay it comes off all right look man a lot of y'all be coming for me for my baby hairs and i just do not understand why because <laughs> okay listen it fits me and i like it okay i look at me and i like what i see on me if you try baby hairs and you don't like them that's okay but please leave me alone <laughs> okay ciao so uh yeah once again shout outs to wise wigs for sponsoring this video and for sending me this gorgeous wig i absolutely love it uh i tend to shy away from brown colored hair i don't know why but this one is a vibe like i really do like this one for all the information on it it will be down in the description box below okay so uh yeah okay absolutely beautiful i thought that this was really 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 pretty on me okay mac chestnut we are going to rim our lips with this you see what i'm saying um yeah you guys i got some more fillers in my lips uh, i don't know how i feel about them they are beautiful i just feel like they make my lips look a little bit more discolored you get what i'm saying like because the skin is so stretched like you can see a lot more discoloration in my natural lips it's not bad or anything like that but they are pretty like she really did a really good job and i just went in for another half of the fillers because i got 0.5 the last time and same way i got five uh half of the thing okay i think it's one what is it one milliliter anyways it's not a full syringe basically okay so it's just a little touch up but as you can tell the shape is really really pretty she did a really really good job it's just that i don't like how my lips look like when i don't wear makeup you see what i'm saying like it just looks discolored <laughs> anyways girl listen stop all right she did a good job let me stop i'm just you know you look at yourself all the time so you're always second guessing stuff and that's something we need to stop doing we need to stop nitpicking at ourselves the way that we do Anyways, this is the end of the video, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely love how everything came out. Very fall-ish, but we're doing it in the summer, okay? Listen, if it is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, join the tribe, come on in. We are a happy bunch. Leave the negativity at the door, thank you. Go ahead and comment down below because I wanna hear from you guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Share the video because sharing is caring. Follow me on all of my social media platforms, Snapchat, Instagram, girl, listen just it's everything in savannah silver if you have an app and you think that i'm on it just search for me if my name ain't dead then y'all already know how that go okay <laughs> whoopty whoop shibbity boop 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 i love y'all guys take care of yourselves and i will see you guys in the next video all right <laughs> bye bye